Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keel, and today we're talking about the uh, Phase uh, MWM. I guess that's the. I think that's the name of the company. I made a video, I guess, a couple weeks ago, and I was talking about the Rain 12s and why I was just kind of about them. And uh, I think this the new technology from this company, the MWM, uh, with this face thing, I I like that concept better. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Is For me, I like the idea of options. When I have the Rain 12s, that's it. <laughs> Laptop crashes, uh, you have connection issues, something's wrong through USB, your party's over, done, period. There's nothing else. You can't slap a USB into the Rain 12s and just play from off the Rain 12s or you know, grab some vinyl from back room and just play vinyl for rest of the night. <laughs> if the Rain 12s don't connect to your mixer and they're not working with Ser Serato properly, your night's effed up, <laughs> period. So... I feel like in the back of my mind, not having options is the the biggest thing that bothers me. Cause I've I've done parties where, uh, rain or Serato or tractor was acting buggy, and luckily I had you know my A six in my bag or I had my SL three in my bag, so I was able to swap it out and keep the night going. But you don't you can't do that with these. It just is what it is. I mean, I, I guess you could kind of play um, internally, but you know, I don't want to do that. But I, for me, I feel the options is the biggest hindrance to why I wouldn't jump on board that. You know, price point is decent, and you know, I still have vinyl. I still play vinyl every once in a while. Um, I don't like the fact that I have this big turntable looking thing and I can't put records on it <laughs> it's bothering me you know what if they put a tone arm on it and had it switch to vinyl mode oh my god these things would be the greatest things ever but you still don't have any options you're stuck using Serato I don't think it works with anything else maybe they'll find a way to MIDI map it to work with Tractor or something whatever virtual DJ or something I don't know it, you know if if that, if there's room for stuff like that, it'll kind of sway me more. But I'm still kind of about the whole concept, so I don't know. Don't <laughs> I got lamb based in making that video? Everyone was like, "You don't know what you're talking about. You're stupid." Like, <laughs> I'm just like, "Yo, I'm a DJ. I'm a professional DJ. I like certain things." If you, if you don't like it, tough. I don't care. Don't go to my videos. I, whatever. There's people who are interested in my opinion about it. And so I made the video for them. And I talked to other DJs. And this was, when I made the video, this was their thoughts. And it kind of reinforced my thoughts about it. But people were mad. Like, how dare you? How could you talk about something you haven't actually touched yet? I'm like, what the? F <laughs> That's bad. Anyway, anyways, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, so. The uh, this phase thing is kind of cool because it it sticks on top of your turntables, and it uses light light to kind of tell where the record is supposed to be, and apparently it works great. The only downside I do not like is that there's a ten hour battery life on it, so you have to remember to charge it. <laughs> Period. There's no. The second you get it, you're done with your set, you have to charge it immediately. And then you have to charge it right before your gig. Otherwise, you're, oh my God. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. But uh, I guess they're working on it. So we'll see how that goes. But I think it's a cool technology. And I'm kind of interested to see where it goes. Uh, I think a lot of people think that I'm a Luddite. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I have to be actually you know what though it is kind of true though because I was on it took me forever to go to a laptop like it did it took forever and, and now that I'm there I'm just like screw it, I'm gonna change now so 
Um, maybe you're right. Maybe I am a caveman when it comes to this kind of stuff. But like, I am. I would say that I'm interested in stuff that's out there, and I'm always interested to see what's coming up next in the future. So I, I definitely keep my ear to the ground and, and look. And I do try stuff out eventually when I do get my hands on it. So I mean, <laughs> I don't want you to think that oh, I'm only making opinions in my room. Like, pff, what kind of nonsense is that? Anyways, anyways, I'm off topic, guys. So, so I, I like the idea of it. I think it's kind of cool. And I, I like that they haven't completely settled on the idea about how we use vinyl or how we use a DVS system with your laptop. I like that. Like, cause I don't, I don't think the, the, uh, I guess the science is settled with, you know, how to do something. There's a million ways. And, you know, if you like it and works for you, go for it. Uh, by all means, go for it. Um, I think that's probably the most important thing about all this is like, you gotta, you have to do what works for you. For me personally, I love options. I have a module system, so I bring my mixer and I have a completely different type of sound system with me. So if I'm if I have my tractor mixer, I bring a Serato uh, SL box just in case because shit has happened to me before. So actually, the first time it happened to me it was like maybe six years ago. Uh, I was doing uh, a Christmas party for this company. It was like a tech company. And uh, <laughs> so they had a band. And uh, I had all my, all my stuff set up. I brought my turntables. My laptop was up. And basically, I did a sound check before the band started playing. And I was playing with the band a little bit. And then after that, I was like, oh, I'm going to get some drinks. And I'll, I'll be back. So band's finishing up their set. And then I, I went up to go start playing for the, you know, the night, like basically people were going to start dancing. So they basically, I went up to start playing and this weird clicking sound was coming out of my right channel. And I was like, oh, shit. And, and fortunately, I brought the, my SL box you know, it only has to happen once. So because of that, um, I was bringing backup, and and so when when I see a closed off system like that where there is no backup, I I just kind of get uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. That's my personal preference. I think this it's happened to a lot of DJs, and so you know, like I I just like to be prepared. So like. If you have like the Rain 12s and you have hardware failure or something like that, what do you do? <laughs> I want to carry 1200s plus the Rain 12s or CDJs plus the 12s. Like, that's that's crazy to me because at least with 1200s, I can play vinyl, or at least with CDJs, I can play something off the USB if it's not working with my laptop. Like, I have options at least, so I don't know. I, that's just how I feel about it. If you're a professional DJ and you're familiar with hardware failure, that is the scariest thing you could possibly think of. It's, like, it's a brand new technology. And a lot of people don't want to say this, but it's true. Most new hardware, like brand spanking new hardware, has hardware problems. And if you don't believe me, you can go look, go in every software form. You can go in Tractor. You can go into Serato. You can go into record box. Go look in the forms. Anytime there's a brand new, brand spanking new hardware, there is hardware problems. <laughs> and they're bad. They're brutal. Other things that the software developers, the hardware developers, they didn't even think of yet. You're basically a beta tester when you buy something that's brand spanking new. Just like, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> People don't think about these things, though. I mean, like, you're not a professional DJ, and you're going from something that, you know, like you go through, cause like I've gone through like laptops and it took, took me like after I migrated to my brand new laptop, it's taking me maybe like three months before I'm just like, Whew, all right, <laughs> so good. Let's go. Let's do this. And, and, cause like, <coughs> excuse me, you know, like 
it, it just it takes time to like, power through and go through all the situations, different types of plugins, like different setups, uh, uninstalling stuff. Like I'm just paranoid. Like I, I'm I'm Alex Jones when it comes to. <laughs> I'm sorry. No disrespect to Alex Jones, but uh, <laughs> I'm I'm just paranoid. Like I'm, I'm I think everything's out to get me when it comes to software. So like because of that, I just don't play around, and so I it is what it is. Anyways, <sighs> yeah, it's the long winded video. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh. Yeah. Peace out, guys.